Good. Turn right at the roundabout and then turn right. Okay. Can you no, I do not. Thank you. Okay. With the ticket, any time you come in, you just have to scan that under either of the machines and the gate will open for you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. you too. Yesterday, I made it to the hotel. And uh, this morning, um, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I couldn't sleep until 12 a.m. And then after I... Went to bed uh, and I woke up at 2.51. So I woke up before my alarm goes off, but my alarm was only going to go off at uh, uh, 3 a.m. And the reason why it was going to go off at 3 a.m. is because of this. Ow, the place where I stayed uh, is about... 270 kilometers away from this place here. I just had to get here before the sunrise. I just made it. Um, I didn't exactly come at the sunrise, you know, um, but I made it by like 10 minutes late. You know. uh, on the way here, there was a bit of uh, scary moments. Uh, I did see a horse just a hundred kilometers into my ride. I also saw a few cows. Uh, they were on the road. So uh, just have to be a bit careful to um, ride on the road. I could not, if it was a daytime, you know, I would have done about 140, 150 kilometers of the speed. That's not a problem. But I had to just go a little bit slow, a little bit uh, um, careful on these uh, roads. The horse did give me a scares though. <laughs> I was speaking to a lady at my um, hotel and uh, she was like, yeah, there's uh, ponies, there's uh, uh, kangaroos there, and there is also uh, donkeys on the road. But I was not expecting a horse. There's the, uh, there is, you know, so, yeah, made it. day. I've already done about uh, 530 kilometers for today but these 530 kilometers that I've done actually equals to zero. I went down the Luster Highway for 274 kilometers and then came back. Uh, I'm grateful that the, the lady here said it's okay I can uh, stay a little bit back into my hotel room it's about what uh, 11 o'clock right now check out is at 10 o'clock I think today today is the what first second today's the third day back from uh, Darwin to home I think today's gonna be tough the next uh, 500 kilometers is gonna be very tough the Northern Territory border is about uh, 60 kilometers from here and then from there, it's 110.
So I'm in this one of these uh, rest area called uh, uh, Putnara. Putnara. It's about 36 degrees today. Very hot, very hot. There's all these flies around here. So yeah, that's me there. The Cooper PD is 76 kilometers from here. Cadney Park is 76 kilometers from here. So this is like in the middle of the two. Uh, I stopped at Marla for quite some time. I had the burger over there. And I also, um, also spoke to uh, the bartender for quite some time. So we just had uh, some chat, just uh, sharing experiences uh, for travels. And uh, I left uh, that place at about uh, three something. You know. um, it's about uh, five ish right now. So from Marla, it was about 220 kilometers uh, to Kubapiti. About 76 kilometers to go from here. Now, I don't know if you guys can see over there, there's a train track. There's a train track that is going all the way to Darwin. Um, you will see in some of my videos uh, of this trip, uh, I've passed a few train tracks sometimes. Uh, um, I'm trying to see if uh, I can find dead camels on the road. Sometimes you will see like uh, dead camels on the side of the road. The guts are coming out of the camel. You know, because uh, the eagles or the hawks have already uh, eaten part of it, really. So yeah, sometimes you will, I'll, I'll try and find, and even um, I see camels, I see cows as well. Goodbye, okay. Carter's telling me goodbye. So yeah, my... When I was going from uh, Ayers Rock uh, to uh, Marla, my water ran out and uh, I was feeling really, really thirsty my water ran out again so I'm carrying a three liter bladder but I've drank all the water and um, it's all out so gotta keep going <sighs> 76 kilometers should take me about uh, an hour like about 45 minutes to this place so there's an emergency phone there's information there's a shade but it's not for uh, trucks. That's what it says here. Uh, pretty good area. And now this guy's gonna slow down. He's gonna ask me how am I doing, am I okay or not? You know, I'm just gonna tell him, thank you. I'm just gonna go. Cause what they, what they think that I'm in need, you know? So might as well just give him a good, good, quick thumbs up. Uh, go, great, I'm, I'm okay. And then uh, once he, he sees that, he can go, you know? Uh, because sometimes see, you're standing here like that means you are in need. So there you go, 74 kilometers, I gotta turn left. All right, let's go.
it's about uh, seven o'clock right now the sun is still shining up there and uh, we just made it to Kuba PD and this is my hotel actually uh, there. so I'll just walk you guys uh, through my hotel the guys who work here also suggested to go through that door there and then uh, go up there is a nice lookout I can see everything the road to the breakaways is all gravel so it's all like a dirt road you know so I don't have much experience taking uh, that bike there on uh, gravel before I'll see how far I can go and how far I can make it and definitely um, we'll check out but for now let's uh, go and have a look at this underground motel all right so, so, so this is my room right this is my tiny little room but have a look at it it's pretty cool right? look at that. it's an underground place so because the Kuru Petty actually gets really, really hot during the summer. There are places that are underground, so this is actually a uh, rock. Yeah. Um, so booking.com charged me $140, but this place is only $130. So the lady who works here goes, oh, we don't have a room that is for $140, but we have a $130 room. So she was like, okay, how about this? Uh, um, she, tried to, she tried her best uh, to kind of refund me, cancel me, cancel it and so, so she tried to uh, do the work around but she couldn't which is okay, I, I, I didn't care about the ten dollars really but she has given me some of the cornflakes, more cornflakes, some wheat picks to uh, take uh, to eat tomorrow the kitchen is just across the hall